Greetings, greetings, greetings from James Lee McFarlane, also known as Gentleman Jim. The time has come for our tie so long. This is the first session of it. In this session, we will start with the tools and the supplies that are needed in this session. We will also be showing the fabric types. We're going to demonstrate how we desection the tie. We are going to create a pattern once we do that using some brown paper. Now, here's what I have in front of me. As I told you, now you guys had enough time to get you a tie that you didn't mind taking apart. Because, like I said, the tie which we use creates the pattern. The filler in between creates the shape of the tie. All of this is here. We have different types of fabric. We have a cotton base that you can do designer ties for special occasion. We have a satin base which a lot of ties are made out of. We have a little piece of lining which is used that's on the tip of the tie. Now, all of these, remember, if you get a tie, you can get one at a thrift store for a little nothing that you don't mind using. Well, guess what? Every piece of that tie gives you your pattern pieces from start to finish. So. We need, we're going to need some thread to sew it back up. We're going to need the needle, hand needles. I use a little chalk marker in the event I need to show a specific area. Of course, we need our scissors. I use all kind of rippers and openers. I use a little snips because once I cut the tie, it's easier to show with the snips. Now, I like a blade, as I've talked to or many a times little snap-off blade that you can buy in a hardware store or one of the little dollar stores. Some people like a seam ripper to rip it open. I don't. I use a blade or my little clip all the time. Now, once again, I said you need some paper to create the pattern once we do that. So, beginning, we're going to take the tie apart, the filler that we take out of the tie, okay, now it's completely out, the filler that we use, it's easier to buy a tie for 50 cents, 25 cents, whatever thrift store is selling for, than to buy a whole roll of this, especially when you're getting started. You could buy two ties and have two ties. Okay? You buy a roll, it makes a lot of them. Uh, I don't know the exact cost of this filler, but for 50 cents, you can get enough to make you a couple of ties opposed to spending four, five, nine dollars. I have no idea what it's cost because I haven't made, I just go buy me a tie. So we have the filler, we have the tie. Let me just move my tools out of the way for a minute to show you guys what you must do when you start to create this. 